Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and in this video I'll show you new features in Aperture 1.6. First, we'll start with nothing. As you can see, I have one fixture, and with it I can play the scene. However, in Aperture 1.6, when using the camera editor with synced actors, you can play the camera even with an empty camera profile. That has no fixtures. That's a quality of life tweak. As you may know that Aperture uses ticks within its camera editor to measure duration of everything. Duration of fixture, keyframes, envelopes, and etc. As per user feedback, I added one option to the camera editor called Use Seconds. What it does essentially is allowing to use seconds instead of ticks. Ticks are still used internally, however, everything that displays duration within the camera editor will display in seconds, instead of ticks when use seconds option is enabled. Next feature is a pretty nice addition to path fixture. As you may know, there are multiple interpolations in the path fixture, and her might known as the smoothest. However, when you need the path to somewhat orbit, it's not the best solution as it has these boomerang shaped corners. I present to you circular interpolation, that is exclusive to path fixture. What it does is animates the path around given point, and interpreting path points as segments on the circle. This gives really nice effect for obwriting paths. Auto center toggle allows to disable picking the average position, and instead allows you to pick a custom center point, which allows to tweak the curvature of the circular path. Be careful with the center point, as if drawn too close to some points, it can result into really weird spiral paths. Next comes another quality of life feature. There is an option called loop playback, which allows to loop currently selected fixture. In Aperture 1.6, you can now select a looping region. You can select the end point with right square bracket, and the starting point with left square bracket. Alternatively, control and left and right clicking can be used to adjust starting and end points, respectively. To reset a looping region you can press control plus middle click, while hovering on timeline, or pressing both left and right square bracket keys at the same time. And last, but the best feature in the entire update that took like 3 weeks to implement and it was so much pain and people take it for granted, is undo and release system. Yes, I implemented two keys, Ctrl plus Z and Ctrl plus Y key binds. Check this out, I'll destroy completely this camera profile using Ctrl plus Z key combo. Now, I'll rebuild it back using Ctrl plus Y key combo. So yeah, undo reader system can undo and read the actions you've done to individual camera profiles. You can change all the camera fixture properties. Add, remove, manage modifiers, keyframes, and etc. And camera editor should be able to undo and redo your changes. The system by default limits up to 30 undos at a time, and it doesn't undo and redo when you rename, add, or remove camera profiles. So yeah, this is pretty much the best feature this update offers. That wasn't much, but I hope you'll enjoy using these features. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.